Okay, so here I've primed the vehicle and it's in a gray primer status. I use a primer called Bright Touch and it's just a red can primer. And then at about 15, 20 minutes, it's good to paint. But I usually try to let it set overnight just to make sure that it levels out all nice. So the first colors I'm using are all by Vallejo for this first little part. And the first two colors that I'm laying down is a mixture of whole red and black gray. Next, I mix in orange and whole red. It's kind of more orangey, and I'm going for that oxide look on this coat. Then I use orange and Iraqi sand. Once again, they're Vallejo model color, thin with water. Now next I go through and I kind of dry brush the edges and this is with straight Iraqi sand. You, you can go brighter if you want to. I just, I don't want to use any uh, whites because white was just gonna basically make everything brighter and also it kind of robs it of, of tone. Uh, then I go through and I just straight Iraqi sand with a thin with water and I touch on all the details. Now I'm spraying Tamiya uh, Panzer Grey, and I'm spraying it at a 90 to 10 ratio over the whole model. And you'll see me kind of jump around. It's because I'm allowing the paint to dry so I can hold the model in different sections. Even though I'm wearing a glove, I don't want to cause any streaking, rub off any paint. So I'll work on the doors and then go back to the car. And once again, it's very, very thin. That's, it's the key to doing this whole process, is keeping your, your paint really thin and layered. Also, um, I need to add that before I laid this down, I actually put a clear coat over everything and then I added hairspray. So there's that layer of hairspray underneath this as well. Now I'm mixing in some light blue XF23 and I'm still keeping that paint as thin as possible. But the Panzer Gray is kind of dark so we want to lighten it with a color. Now, so I have that layer of hairspray underneath it. So I'm going to take a toothbrush and I'm going to chip it up. The, the, the key to this is that as soon as you start to see chipping appear, you need to move to a different spot. So you're going to see me working in different areas. Now, some areas I might work a little bit harder than others, like around the fenders and things like that. This is just a layer that we're adding to it. I'm sorry my head's in the way. Uh, I thought it was still a little dark, so I went and protected the, the coat that I already applied and then I also added more hairspray. So now I'm applying a lighter coat and this is more of the sky blue mixed with the Panzer Grey. And, and you don't have to worry, like, uh, it, it's kind of of my opinion on this that uh, when we're talking about leathering, lighter is always a little bit better. 
And also, since I've added that hairspray, we're gonna have a little bit more of that chipping effect, and it's gonna show you in different layers. Here I'm applying the whitewash. The whitewash is created with, to me, a flat white. And then I added in a little bit of dark yellow just to tone down the harshness of the white. There's also another layer of hairspray underneath the white. The tires were painted in uh, black gray. and the roof was painted with khaki. Okay, so I felt like the white was way too harsh, and so I took a little bit of thinner and a cotton bud, and I've just gone over making that, that I'm bringing down the starkness of the whitewash. I actually just want to dust that, that whitewash off, and it's really about distance, I think, with this. And so next time I, the next time I do this, I'm probably going to go thinner. That way I don't have to go back and, and do this part of it. But I got some cool effects, I think. Here I'm using Vallejo's uh, dark brown wash. I don't let this sit on there too long. I don't want it to dry, so I'm gonna work kind of in sections. And then I just grab a cotton button and start wiping it away. And I wish I had been able to, there we go, you can see it, I kind of, I work in sections and I'll start pulling down. I've also left the doors unattached, they're not glued in, they'll be glued in after I decide. Once again, I'm, I'm going to leave more of this dark brown wash on the tires. I'm not going to go wiping it off all crazy willy nilly. And then here I get kind of experimental, like I'm just kind of throwing the wash on there and letting it set for a second. And then I'll go and wipe it off. Off of the roof, I decided to do something different. So I covered it in the wash like I would the vehicle, and then I wiped the majority of it off. But I kind of worked in sections here, and I was kind of trying and looking at it, see what was happening with the the kind of faded white bars where the roof supports would be sitting. And then I kind of followed the line where there's like a seam line in here. I'll follow that with the wash, and I'll get and I'll just kind of clean it up a little bit at a time. We want a little bit of staining to be left behind, but not too much. We just want to make sure we get all those tire marks up. Now I'm using the Vallejo Old Rust, and I just kind of stipple this in little areas and then streak it down. I'm going to wipe most of this away. We just want that discolorization. Now I'm using uh, just a straight brown wash, it's not a dark brown wash, it's a little bit of a lighter tone. And then I'm using a larger brush and I'm stippling and dragging instead of wiping off completely. I'm just kind of moving the wash around and it's giving it a little bit of texture. Okay, here's just a little bit of black. I'm going to throw it in the floorboards in the corners and on the leather. I'm going to, once again, I'm going to be wiping most of it back off, but I just want to get it in the recesses. 
we, what we really want to take care of are the pools. So if you see your washes pulling up and pooling anywhere, you want to take your cotton butt and just kind of draw draw that in, because otherwise you're going to leave behind tide marks. And here I'm doing the same thing. I'm using that black brown, I'm going over the wheels and then I'll kind of soup it up. And I'm cleaning any tired marks and you can see I put some on the roof so I'll go back and clean those up as well.